Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijay Tavarna and in this video lecture session we are going to discuss about the construction of isometric projection and an example problem is like this following figure shows the front and top views of a solid draw the isometric projections of the solid so according to this figure we know that uh, the bottom most solid is of a uh, square slab of 70 mm and the thickness of uh, 15 mm above which we have a circular slab of uh, uh, diameter 50 millimeter and uh, thickness is 20 millimeter above which we have um, a 30 millimeter uh, cube is going to be located now let me show you how to construct the same so now we make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 and a continuous line we will construct a 70 mm square first so 70 30 70 150 70 minus 150 and 70 minus 30 so that the required square construction has been completed now we know that uh, for the square the thickness is supposed to be a 15 millimeter so we will draw an axis line for a height of 15 millimeter in the form of a chain line so this is going to represent the axis and then the square what we have constructed using a move command and switch on the copy of move so it has to be moved from this height to this height which is going to represent the 70 mm square slab now using a line command so one can complete this uh, square slab of 70 millimeter properly and now the invisible edges can be deleted and then now one can see that the isometric view of the square slab of 70 millimeter has been constructed and inside this square slab we are supposed to construct a circular slab of uh, 50 millimeter so for which i am going to select the square and the 70 mm square using a move command or uh, using a scale command will get the size of this as uh, 50 by 70 because 50 mm is a required square and 70 is the available square and then make sure that copy is on because we wanted the both the dimensions so i'm going to position it over there and its thickness is 0 0.13 because it's a construction of lines we we'll make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 so we'll construct an ellipse over here because the circle is going to look like an ellipse that is the guidelines in the isometric projection and it is a, a true thing also then using a arc by center point command we are going to draw the four different arcs like this to construct this circle as a ellipse in the isometric projections now we have already drawn two arcs now i am going to draw the third arc now so sometimes we may not get the arcs properly so the only thing is we have to keep trying until we get it and now we can see we have constructed the required arcs and then uh, we can uh, delete these construction lines which is no more required for us and then uh, the height of this uh, solid is uh, known as uh, 20 millimeter so let me draw a 20 millimeter height and this ellipse is supposed to be positioned at a height of 20 millimeter like this so using a move command move from the end point here and it should be positioned at the end point over here and then this line is supposed to be a chain line so let me convert it to a chain line and 0 0.13 and using a line command from uh, midpoint to midpoint again midpoint to midpoint we are going to complete this construction and then afterwards we have to uh, locate uh, uh, or whatever the invisible edges are there using a trim command we can uh, trim those portions and now one can see that this is the required portions which is visible edges and then above which we have to locate a uh, square uh, prism or a cube of size 30 millimeters uh, so for which what i am going to do is uh, i'm just uh, undo the square construction and then I'm going to take the help of the square then using a move command I'm going to reposition the square somewhere over here then uh, this trim I'm going to perform again now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the square which is a size of uh, 70 millimeter and I'm going to reduce the square from 70 to 30 millimeter straight away you can see the 30 millimeter it has been converted now using a line command uh, we will get the center point from the center we know that the cube height is 30 millimeter so i'm going to construct the cube like this and then uh, for the cube construction using a move command 
So let me move this wire at the top height like this and then all the visible edges to be connected like this. Once we connect all the visible edges and then for the constructional purpose and uh, using a line command with 0.13 as a thickness, we can convert this into a chain line or axis line. I am going to select this queue, then uh, I am going to move this queue with respect to the end point of this axis. Yes, we got the end point of the axis. That end point has to be positioned on the end point of a circle over here like this. Now one can see that we have positioned the uh, required things properly. And then uh, using the trim command, so one can trim the invisible edges behind this queue. Now, after which one can say that uh, the isometric view or isometric drawing is completed. Using the scale command, we are going to convert this figure into isometric projection using the scale factor of 0 0.8164 and uncheck the copy of isometric scale, that is uh, the scale command. Now, one can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed in all aspects. Now, if you are having any sort of doubts, uh, please feel free to contact me. And also, if you are liking this video, you can uh, uh, press the like button and also you can uh, share this video and you can subscribe to my YouTube channels and also you can press the bell icon if you are interested to get more and more video updates in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video once again, guys.